upside down worked more than Mandela. Yes. To me, that's the, the way I understand no, this. No, that is true. That is true. But as South Africans, we don't have a problem of leadership. Mm. Oh, yeah. They to argue about leadership. Yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. We used to make decisions here, send him to him in prison mm. in South Africa. No, sir, Mandela. Yes. To what take him makes a decision that here he mm. in Lusaka mm. so that he can make decisions as a, our first leader. Though he, they handed over the leadership to, but well, but I don't know why 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 Nelson Mandela is more marketed than Oli Matamba. <laughs> Mandela is yeah. everywhere. That's a story for another day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but you see, <laughs> but yeah, what makes me sad and Tambo, glad you are here. Tambo put in a lot with, uh, a with lot. our leadership, our haters. Yes. What makes me sad is it, is that up to this day. We, as black people of South Africa, are not being taught the right history. Yes. Hence, our people yes. do not understand how much other African countries were involved in us getting freedom. freedom. And now we are the ones that are calling them Guerreguerres, telling them to go back where they come from. Yeah. If our leaders have a responsibility to make sure that even in our school syllabus, we are taught the correct history. Yes. We are not just taught the white person that discovered Africa. We need to know. Exactly. Who was there in the struggle with us? Ayomaya! <laughs> Hello, Sonny Bonani. This is Tenji Uwe, South African comedian and actress. And today we are in Zambia, Lusaka, wow. at one of the most iconic heritage homes. I'm taking my dear friend oh, and fellow YouTuber. Thank you so much. Mode Maya, Kana, baby. No, she is from South Africa. But right now, are you in South Africa or Zambia? I'm in Zambia. I'm in South Africa in, in Zambia. Because <laughs> a lot of people don't know that we have South Africa in Zambia. Wow. So we are at one of our iconic historical heritage homes wow. where our first and the longest serving president of the African National Congress, Mr. Oliver Reginald Tambo. If you've been to Johannesburg Airport, it's named after him, O.R. Tambo. And I'm taking Wodemeyer. I'm so ignorant today. Did you I, know about Oliver Tambo? It's my first time hearing the name Oliver Tambo. And I, I was told that he's no longer available. So may your soul rest in perfect peace. But today I'm going to know more about you. You are about to go, know a lot more about Can you take me to our the hero, <laughs> Mr. Oliver Reginald Tambo. Uh, wow. But the house is beautiful. It is beautiful. But then yeah, of course, welcome to Oliver Tambo Heritage House. Uh, this is the Heritage House, which was declared in 2017. The house that, of course, kept the great man of South Africa for 22 good years in Zambia. Uh, as you know of us, we know that this was uh, ANC president for 24 years. So the president of ANC, in the time of his exile, he was in Zambia. And this was his, one of his best house or rather I would say the state house for Mr. Tambo at the time when was the NC president. So he lived here for 22 good years, came in Zambia and left Zambia in 1990 on the 13th of December. Of course that was after all the, the people that were arrested on political grounds were released and everyone that was in exile was allowed to go back to South Africa. So most of the things, most of the plans for the NC, the way it is today, was, being, was happening from Zambia and from this house. So this is the downstairs house is an upstairs house, of course. His main bedroom was upstairs. So in this room, of course, we're talking about his early life, his early political life. As you can see there, we're talking about when he was born, where he was born, to whom was he born from. His father was Mr. Mzimen Tambo. The mother of Oliver Tambo was Mr. Julia Tambo, who was, a, who was the third wife of Mr. Tambo. So Mr. Tambo was born from the third wife of Mr. Mzimen Tambo. The man had four wives, of course. So <laughs> it took him to have the third wife to have this hero. So imagine if he married only one wife. Mr. Mr. Dam would have not been here today or talking about him. So we've been trying to say that polygamy is worth the way to say it. It's an encouragement. Uh, Maybe from your first wife, there will no, no hero born. I'm planning to buy 55 times. <laughs> <laughs> So of course we are, we are also talking about his early political life. Of course his struggle for liberation, you know, we can take it back away from his uh, uh, university, Fort Henry University. 
when together with the Otas and Sulu, the Nelson Mandela, they of course organized a, a student strike that was in 1942. And Tambo at that time was expelled from school. And then 42, he went back to his former secondary school where he went there to teach mathematics and science at St. Peter's uh, Secondary School in Johannesburg. So he went there as a teacher. So Mr. Tambo was a teacher as well as a lawyer by profession together with Nelson Mandela. <coughs> So, of course, from there, Mr. Tambo, his life of political career started. Uh, he was, uh, together with the Nelson Mandela, they formed the ANC Youth League in 1943, and he was elected as the first national sector of the ANC Youth League. In 1948, he became a member of the Central Committee of the, Cent uh, of the ANC Party. So, he was rising like that. From there, Mr. Tambo, he was elected uh, Secretary General of the ANC when the Ota Sisulu at that time was arrested and banned from politics. So Ota Sisulu at that time was S SD of the center of the NC party. So when he was arrested uh, and of course banned from politics, Mr. Tambo took over from him as Secretary General. Yeah, so in 58, they also banned the NC president, Mr. Chief Albert Retoli, from participating from any political uh, activity in South Africa. Then the NC, introduced a new position in the party which was called the deputy president and Mr. Tambo was elected deputy, first deputy president of the party. So later and then Mr. after the death of Chief Albert Ritoli, Mr. Tambo was actually elected as acting president of the NC in 1967. So he served as NC president from 1967 to 1991. That is a period of 24 years. So 1991, when he went back to South Africa, he handed over power to Nelson Mandela to continue because, of course, he was tired at that time. He had his first drop from Zambia. He went back. He never gave up the fight, even though on his walking stick. The second stroke. The second stroke uh, in 1993, of course, that led to his death back in South Africa. So he died at the age of 75. Never saw South Africa celebrate the first independence. So, of course, my question to this man is imagine if Tambo was alive and 2019, who would have been the president of South Africa? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, can you please ask you to introduce yourself so that our, our colleagues here know who you are? Exactly. <laughs> uh, my, my name is uh, Edward Hussein Bokwani. Yeah. Yeah, I'm a South African citizen, resident here. So when this, did you come to Zambia and I how did you come? I came exactly. to Zambia, I think, in 19, 1990, 1990, 1976. And because? I ran away from South Africa. Wow. <laughs> so what this man for the lived in Tambo here at one point, ate yeah. with Mr. Tambo in this place. Was one He's of one of our very important political tribal NC. heroes who fought for the freedom that exactly. we now enjoy in South I looked after this man for close to five, six years. Yeah. Inside here. <laughs> yes. yeah. And a passing info the main airport in South Africa, Johannesburg Airport, is named after Mr. Tambo. It's OR Tambo yeah. International Airport. Well, so when you come to South Africa, I'm coming. You are coming. <laughs> You'll be so coming to right, the right, now, right now. Right now, I'm in South Africa. Yes. But this I'll go the to the real one. one. This is the, the intro, intro before I go to the real South Africa. Yes. So we can see through the house. Of course, we will go this this way. Of course, this is the time that Mr. Tam was saying bye to Zambia and going back to South Africa. After 30 years of not being allowed to go After home to see your family. After years in exile. Yes. He was here without the family. Just because freedom for your people. Yeah. His wife was not here, his children were not here for, with him. He was here with just the ANC leaders. That's what you call so there were about 5,000 ANC people who were here in mm -hmm. exile, accommodated by Zambia. Zambia. Yeah. So this was the visit of Mr. Nelson Mandela, of course after his release. The first country visited in, Zamb in Africa was Zambia. So he visited Zambia on 11th of July, 1990. Come and appreciate Mr. Kaunda there, and of course to see his colleague for the fight that he has put on until South Africa celebrates the freedom, of course. So this is one of the, one of the bedrooms downstairs. And of course, on this picture, we see Otasisuru meeting Oliver Tambo, 
for the first time after he was released from prison. Mr. Otasul was the Secretary General of the ANC as well. So they met in Stockholm, that is Sweden, after he was also released. These are two great leaders that don't need any introduction to you, sir. <laughs> the Oliver Tambo of this world and the Nelson Mandela's. We know them very well. So we don't know what they were doing. Maybe they were singing a national anthem. Aman! <laughs> the top color there, it's uh, the black people of South Africa. The black people of South Africa? Yeah. The, the green, it means the green vegetarian. Yeah. The, uh, oh, the vegetation. Vegetation. Okay. Yeah. And the yellow, it means all the colors of South Africa. I think that's the song. Yes. So it is a very complete house. There's a kitchen here, upstairs. This is the spare bedroom. And the upstairs, that's the wife of Mr. Trumbo. Madame Adred Tambo. Of course, she never visited Zambia or definitely coming here and see the husband. She was all alone with the children in London. So Mr. Tambo would only communicate with the wife on phone, maybe meet at the airport. For 30 good years. Yeah, for 30 good years they were separated, these people, just to make sure that South Africa today celebrates and enjoy their freedom. And of course, the entire continent of Africa. Yes. So you can see it through there. This is just the bathroom upstairs. Okay. This is the time that Mr. Tam, of course, alive back to South Africa. You can see he's being flagged by the NC supporters in the background. So this is one of the living room upstairs. These are old stones. Which were built here, the time Mr. Tambo, of course, he was in Zambia. And that's one of the main messages that Mr. Tambo was putting across to the world. That's what he really wanted, seeking a united democratic and non racial society. It was seen actually when the time he was even putting in his new Central Committee members, he allowed Indians' colors to be part of the NC leadership. Yeah, he never wanted to chase any color out of South Africa, but he wanted people to come together, work together, different, despite their different colors. It might be a white person, an Indian, but yeah, let's work together as one people. That was really what Mr. Tambo was working for and fighting against the upper third of that was in there, South Africa. Wow. Yeah, so you can see the main bedroom here. So this was the main bedroom for Mr. Tambo. This was the main bedroom. This is where we sleep and dream about South Africa and Africa. <laughs> <laughs> so of course on those pictures, there's Mr. Nelson Mandela on the first picture, the Oliver Tambo, Will Mandela, and we have Adelaide Tambo there, the wife to Mr. Tambo. Yeah. So today, the only time we give from Kantolo to the world. So he was born in Kantolo village, like we went downstairs there. He was born from Kantolo village. So that's where he came from, from a village to a hero, of course. The lesson for today is learn to sacrifice. Mm -hmm. If Oliver Tambo sacrificed his freedom, his love life, mm -hmm. his family, just for us to be free today, and you can't even sacrifice a pair of shoes, old shoes for your neighbor who's walking barefoot, there's something wrong with you. This Christmas, let's just take this as a lesson to make sure that we don't only look after ourselves, but we also sacrifice for those who are less fortunate than us. Tell me, tell me the name of your YouTube channel. Tell me the, 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 the name of your YouTube channel. Tenjiwe Comedy. Thank you so much for watching this amazing episode. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, shit.